Okay, this video is going to be about solving linear inequalities graphically. So let's get started. Okay, so let's say we're given this situation. We've got two equations, y equals 0.5x plus 2 and y equals negative 1.5x plus 6. And we're told to solve this as a system of equations. Now you could do it algebraically, but since we're given a graph, you know when you have a graph of a system of equations, all you have to do is find the point of intersection, in this case 2 comma 3, and that's going to tell you what the solution is. So the solution to this system would be x equals 2, that's the first coordinate, and y equals 3, the second half of the coordinate pair. Okay, this is stuff you're, fami you're familiar with. Okay, now let's go on to this. Let's say we're just given this equation. Now, this equation has no y. There's just x's. So it should be pretty easy to solve. And we could solve it algebraically. You've done all this before. But since what we've done is simply taken the first equation, the red equation, and written the right half of it over here, the 0.5x plus 2, and then set that equal to the right half of the, of the blue equation, the second equation, then we can know that the solution to this is going to be just the x value where the two lines cross. So the solution to this equation is going to be x equals 2. Okay, take a second to make sure that makes sense to you. If you want, pause the video, plug 2 into both sides of it, and make sure that, it, that you get a true equation. Okay, the next step. So let's say that instead of having an equal sign, we had um, a greater than sign. Okay, so we've got 0.5x plus 2, remember that's the red line, is greater than negative 1.5x plus 6. So this is a linear inequality, and we could solve it algebraically, the same way we solved, the, um, solved it when it was an equality, but just following the rules for inequalities. But let's say we're told to do it graphically, and that's going to be very easy. So what we're looking for is all the values of x that will make this red side of the equation greater than the blue side. Now, this 0.5x plus 2 was what y equaled, and y tells us something about the height of an equation, the height of a line, right? The x tells us where it is on the, in terms of left and right, on the x-axis. The y tells us how high up or down the line is. Okay, so in a sense what I'm asking for is which of these, when is the red line higher? When is its value greater, its y value, greater than the blue line? Now I don't care what its y value is, I just want to know when the y value is more. Okay, so I'm not going to worry, I've got this 2 comma 3 here, I'm not going to worry about the 3. Let's cross that out. And I'm not going to worry about any values on the y-axis. I just want to know when, in terms of x, is 0.5x plus 2 more than, greater than, negative 1.5x plus 6. So let's look at the graph. Well, it looks like everywhere over here, everywhere greater than 2, my red line has a greater value, a greater y value, than my blue line. Once again, I don't care what that y value is. I just care that it's more than the value, the y value for the blue line. Now, again, I'm only concerned with the x's, so I'm just thinking about what x values allow that red line to be higher. Well, it seems like it would be all the x values from 2 onward not including 2, because 2 is where they're the same. Having trouble with that pen. So from 2 onward, 
I'm basically going to have this. If you think about it, I've just converted, because I don't care about y, I can actually just get rid of this y-axis. I've just converted my, co my coordinate plane into a simple number line. Because all I'm looking for is the places on that number line where the red line has a greater value, where it's higher. So that's going to be everywhere greater than 2. Writing this out as what would be the solution to this inequality if I actually did the algebra, I would get x is greater than 2. That's what this line shows me here. If I had to write it in interval notation, I would use the interval rounded bracket, rounded parentheses, 2 to infinity, because basically I'm starting just past the 2, and I'm going on to infinity. This line here goes to infinity. Okay, so that's really all there is to solving uh, linear inequalities graphically. It just comes down to looking at the point of intersection, forgetting about the y-axis, cross it out, erase it, put your finger over it, don't look at the y-values. All we care about is the x values, the numbers on the x axis, and the place where those numbers are going to give us a, a value for one of the lines which is greater or less than the other. Okay, so take a second to think about this. Maybe I'll try another example in a different video. Take care. See you next time.